Hey, what's happening guys? I've been a little under the weather since last week, so I apologize for being a little slow on the video. So today's just going to be a quick one about uh, a, a conversion that I, 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 I learned a few years ago that really helped me out a lot. Now, you know, I always make fun of the metric system because like we're one of what three countries in the world that doesn't use it. Well, if you get into engineering or any sort of science field, you, you use the metric system. So I, I don't have a problem with the metric system. My brain comprehends it. I mean, it's it's, it's simple. You know, I think I see uh, um, millimeters and in inches, and I just know in my head that one inch is roughly 25 millimeters. I know that. So there's no problem. And I know that one pound is roughly... A half a kilogram and uh, one liter or no one gallon is, is what about I don't know four four liters something something around there so I mean they're standard everything base 10 years no problem except when it comes to temperature because of that 32 degree offset everything is screwed up so I always just I always had a real struggle in working with Fahrenheit and Celsius and just converting them back and forth in my head. But uh, one of my last years at Bear, I did learn an interesting trick, and I want to show it to you. Um, let's put down some some measurements here: Celsius here, Fahrenheit here. We'll have uh, zero degrees, twenty degrees. 50 degrees and 100 degrees all in Celsius and then for Fahrenheit we will say uh, 0 also 32 80 and 212 now of course I pick 0 and 100 degrees Celsius because that's where water freezes and boils for Fahrenheit it's 32 and 212 but the conversions be be between them um, I do the Fahrenheit to, or, Celsius, or the Celsius Fahrenheit conversion times 1.8 by uh, 32 and all that, or for the five nines, whatever. But here's the trick I learned. Anyway, let's put this in here. So zero degrees Celsius equals 32 Fahrenheit. 20 degrees Celsius is about 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, 50 degrees is what 122 degrees Fahrenheit, and 100 degrees. Celsius is 212. So over here, um, zero degrees Fahrenheit is like minus 17.77 C. Uh, 32 degrees Fahrenheit is zero C. 80 degrees Fahrenheit is uh, 26.667 C. And 212 is 100 C. But we don't need to be that exact. Here, we can figure it out real quick. So here it is, and it, it's pretty simple. I, when I first heard I was like, duh, of course. So to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit real quick in your head, you simply multiply the Celsius by two and add 30. I know it's not exact. Don't put in the two, you're just gonna get confused. And to go from Fahrenheit to Celsius, we divide by 2. Well, first we subtract 30, and then we divide by 2. So, Celsius to Fahrenheit, if we were to take 0 times 2 is still 0 and add 30, you know, our approximate measurement is 30 degrees, and you see we have a difference of 2 degrees. 20 degrees multiplied by 2 is 40 plus 30 is 70. Again, we have a, a difference of 2 degrees. Should climb as we get higher. 50 times 2 is 100 plus 30 is 130. And now you see our delta has changed to 8. 100 times 2 is 200 plus 30. And we get 230, which is a delta of what, 6, 16, 17? These are just rough numbers that you can use. So in your head, 
you have a reference frame. I mean, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to comprehend something like converting uh, temperatures in your head because there, there's nothing substantial there that you can think about. You know, I know, I know a man's thumb is about an inch or 25 millimeters. You know, that, that's a substantial thing. You know what it is. So this is kind of hard. All right, let's go the other way. And we'll go Fahrenheit to Celsius. And we can start, I don't know, let's, let's do some different ones. Let's do uh, some standard Fahrenheit temperatures. Uh, 98.6 body temperature. 72 degrees, which is uh, air conditioning temperature here where I live. Uh, let's do a minus 14. Okay? Should be pretty easy. Start with body temperature 98.6. We're going to ignore the 6 and just call it 98. Right? Uh, minus 30. What's <laughs> 98 minus 30? Now my, now my brain doesn't want to work. Uh, 98 minus 30, 69. Divide by 2, we get 34 and a half. We'll just call it 34 degrees C. Then we have 72 minus 30, which is 42. Divided in half, we get 21. Then we have our negative number, just to show you it works in the negatives as well. Minus 14 minus 30 is minus 44. Divided in half is minus 22 degrees Celsius. It's a lot easier than doing the uh, divide by five nine or multiply by five ninths or multiply by one point eight plus thirty two. That makes it a little bit simpler. I hope it helps. If it did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.